Hello guys, my name is Akshar Patel and in this tutorial I will teach you about image threshold, right? So what is image threshold and why do we care about it? You will get it after the ending of this tutorial, okay? So instead of just explaining you by words, I will show you by example what is threshold, okay? So first of all open your IDE and then I already get one file for our for this tutorial okay so at the end of this file end of this tutorial you will able to read the whole paragraph which is not readable currently right so threshold will clear this image and get or it will simply gives us a clear image of main right so close it and create one python file I say is p1 and then let's import cv2 after that let's read our image im read and then our image simple dot sorry sample dot jpeg comma mode of reading image that is in read color right after that let's create one threshold threshold will return true two values so first value th1 equals cv2 dot threshold threshold right so it will take source file our source is image what is threshold threshold comes with many types but in this tutorial I will sh first of all 12 and 15 I will write the whole sentence then I will explain you what I have write right thresh binary and fine okay so threshold will take first what is the image another parameter is 12 so this is the one pixel size if the pixel size or the value is greater than 12 then it is considered as inner light just like this this is all are the portion in light and this will consider as a black windows right so and the this is the maximum value which is going to be converted and final thing is as I say, threshold comes with many types. So I have taken only one that is thresh binary. Okay. So let's show this image is what happens when we use threshold, right? So image show. First of all, let's show the original image. Our original name is image. And second one is our threshold image. Im show threshold then th1 let's wait for key sorry wait key equals 0 and cv2 dot destroy all window right save in and run it and check this out right in original image we have somehow we read the content right and th in threshold there is also we increase the quality of image but not that much kind of good quality right so i will close it and i will convert our original image into grayscale right so first of all let's make our image gray how to we have to call cvt color our source is image remember guys i have already teach you how to convert image into gray right so no need to repeat then our color to gray right so we have to see that also let's see that also im show gray scale and our screen is this let's save it and run it 
okay so grace this is the gray scale gray scale is better than original right and threshold is better than gray scale so we are now increasing the quality of our images right now the final threshold that we are going to apply is adaptive threshold right so final thing is we have to apply a adaptive threshold so let's close okay sorry jump to some space and then okay let's convert let's give threshold to gray also right as we give threshold to where is cursor as give threshold to image we will copy this and set it for gray also right so our image quality becomes much better than previous right so two two and then where is cursor gray here gray okay then instead let's copy this and view that also gray threshold right and the value is 2 let's save it and run it okay so this is the gray threshold not that much good but I have to show you guys okay let's close all this window and final threshold that we are going to apply is adaptive threshold we make a variable and then cv2 dot adaptive threshold right so it will take bunch of parameters so first parameter is what is the image we have converted image to gray so we will take gray image for better quality right another thing is okay i will explain you why gray so comment this and run it again and check this in four of these the better quality is provided by gray scale only check this out am i right or wrong right that's why we are using only gray for final threshold okay so let's close it and use gray threshold gray as a input to adaptive threshold right another thing is what is block size okay i will show you by parameters right so you will understand very easily first is image name second is maximum value always the color maximum value is 255 another thing is what you want to adaptive threshold right so we use adaptive thresh gaussian gaussian underscore c right from which we have used thresh binary right and what are the block size i will give 115 and what is c value that is 1 then final thing is remaining is let's delete all this threshold and we will print only original and the final threshold value right let's give this final and now use guess and let's run our bad boy and check this out right from original to the final this is much better quality fr from this starting to form this ending with this kind of image right so it will it is some kind of better or I can say it's a, some kind of readable right as previous threshold techniques so that's all for this tutorial i hope you guys understand it and well i will see you guys next time bye